You know, we often get the question, what do I do about my cold hands or my cold feet? You know, cold hands and feet are often a sign circulation needs to be improved. In Chinese medicine, we say that the qi, the life force energy, leads the blood. So when the qi moves and circulates, then the blood follows. And you can think of qi, life force energy, is the spark behind the heart. That's one form of qi. We call it heart qi. What pumps the heart? Electricity. This bioelectricity. And it's not the same electricity that's in your walls. It's a magical electricity, meaning that nobody really knows how this energy got started, how it continues to, let's say, pulse and pump through the body. It's the energy in your mind, the heart, all the internal organs. It's a very mysterious, magical energy. And the ancient Chinese masters called it qi, life force energy. And then it had particular kinds of qi. And right now we're talking about the qi of the heart. So how do we optimize the qi of the heart so that we get the circulation moving all the way to the extremity so that our hands and feet stay warm and the energy of our blood is healthy and balanced. Let me show you one exercise that will really help, especially the hands and the feet. It's called igniting inner fire. Now the heart sits on the left side of your chest, a little more to the left side, and then the meridian line goes from the chest down the inside of the arms to the palms of your hands. So what we're gonna do is do a kind of heart pressure point sequence by rubbing the palms together like this, back and forth. And you're gonna squeeze the hands together and then go back and forth. And we're gonna do it kind of strong and warm so you feel the friction in the hands, back and forth. And as you do this, I want you to breathe deeply through your nose. Now, when you rotate, the fingers are now kind of pointing towards the wrist. And then the other side, fingers point towards the wrist. All the way around. And then we can do it quicker with a little bit more pressure. And you might start to feel some heat in your hands. Ignite inner fire. Good. And now, shake the hands like this. Palms face up. Open the meridians through the inside of the wrist. Good, take a deep breath. Relax. Now, take a wider stance, a wider stance. And then the same thing, the palms are gonna do this as we shift the weight left and right. So as you shift your weight to your left, we're gonna press the palms together, the left elbow comes up. And then we come down to the center. You're going to bend your knees. This is going to create circulation through the legs into the feet. And then shift the weight to your right. The right elbow comes up. And we're just going to go back and forth like this. Pump the energy left and right as you press the palms together. And ignite inner fire. Now, as you shift the weight... One way, you just turn the head in the opposite direction. This is good for the neck, shoulders, and upper back. Shift the weight, turn the head in the opposite direction, and pump back and forth. Get the energy to circulate and flow. Pump the energy back and forth. And you're going to really warm the body up and improve circulation. Now come back to the center and just feel the energy in your hands. Just right in front of your heart. Let the fingers just spread apart and see if you feel a little energy, a little tingling right here. Take a deep breath into that. Warmth and radiance. The chi has been activated. It's been activated strong enough so that your circulation is improved. Let's press the palms together and we'll do it one more time. Back and forth, shifting the weight left and right. Turn the head in the opposite direction of the weight shift and ignite inner fire. As we continue, you just breathe deep. And you can see this is a, a really good workout. Great workout for your whole body. 
You could do it slowly if you wanted. You could do it a little quicker. Press the palms together as you shift the weight back and forth. Slow it down, relax, bring the hands back to the heart area and spread the hands apart and just feel the chi in your hands. Take a deep breath. Hands down to the sides, walk the feet back together. And that is a wonderful way to improve circulation to the hands, especially the hands, but also through the whole body. And it should help with poor circulation, even to the feet. Thank you so much for joining me, guys.